you play major. I have seen It's a pretty good start. Young Boosty on the mic. Pretty good start for Stud Kid. You love to see Nana dead early in the game. Like I feel like a lot of what makes this matchup good for Falcon is that his moves are just really good at separating the Ice Climbers. And Ice Climbers have the have the uh, the advantage in a slight way in the fact that they just have really good setups. If if execution is on point, it's hard for Falcon to escape some wobble setups sometimes. Let's see right now. Start kid not taking any chances. Camping back here on platforms. Very smart. That's kind of what you want to do. Looks like Mr. Gingy is just waiting for that right opportunity. Very cerebral game. <laughs> Big brains. Big brain games. Up smash on top platform. Actually a setup? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, they're playing the slow game right now, but that's kind of what you have to do. Oh no, okay. Mr. Gingy at a disadvantage, but manages to tie it up. Let's see how good his Sopo is. Falcon Sopo is tough for Sopo, because he's just so fast. Okay, so a clean one stock lead right now. Um, I'd love to see how this goes. So far, like really with ice climbers, you all you need is all you need is that that opening. Good job rescuing Nana. Let's see, is he gonna? Ooh, see, this is him doing a good job of separating the ice climbers again. And this is a tough position. Recovering is Sopo really, really easy to, to edge guard. But Mr. Gingy looks like he's doing a good job right now of just kind of keeping his stock together. Let's see, ooh, that's unfortunate. Let's see, he's got one stock left, sinks up his boys. Let's see what he's gonna do here. Chris Hydra, I have questions about RuneScape. What's up? What's up, my man? It's my boy Zach. He's actually sick as hell. Oh, yeah, there's that wobbling. This is a guaranteed kill, definitely. So, good stuff to Mr. Gingy for getting that one. That could be the beginning of a, of a serious comeback. Just two more wobbles. One stock lead, and that's that's a common setup is the side B, and I find myself getting hit by that even if I know that SDIing it is the way to escape. It just gets me sometimes. So it really seems like in order to combat these setups, Stood Kit is keeping himself as off the ground as possible, as to not get grabbed, which is a good strategy. Very unfortunate. Holy shit, this could be anybody's game now. Okay. Mr. Gingy tapping into the gods of Sopo. Oh my goodness. It's not exactly stacked in his favor, but he ooh, playing very safe, very carefully, and it looks like oh, he's back. Okay. I'm really liking the play by Mr. Gingy right now. Ooh. 
Ooh, good good stuff to both players, I gotta say. Definitely a definitely a good good match to watch. He bans FD. Good pick. Mm. Takes him to Fountain. Okay, alright. Classic stage that Falcon is not a fan of. It's Fountain of Dreams. Yeah, Fountain, your aerials get messed up. You're just, you have to play a kind of different game. You, you need to play a little more creatively to really get some openings. Like with stomping when the platforms are low. Or just kind of camping until it's empty with one platform. Yeah, that's basically how I see it. And with this matchup, that's really hard because Ice Climbers can play pretty aggressive on this stage. And it looks like... It looks like Sidkiv's really trying to not get grabbed right now. But he was able to rack up enough percent and kill him without the wobble. See, there's there's that setup there you have where you're, you're able to use a lower platform to shield poke. And with Ice Climbers, it's really hard to have a good even shield over both of them. So Star kept looking to tie this up, and it looks like Mr. Jinji is just going to have to go for percent at this point. Good recovery. He drops the edge guard from the platform. Uh-oh, that's tough. Yeah, this might be that. Okay, he makes it back. Crouch cancel down smash at 123. Very bold. He's able to take the stock. He has a two stock lead on him right now. Anything will really kill Sopo at this point. It's going to be hard for Falcon to, to mess this one up. He's got that. Stud kit. Simple. Keeping it clean. Now, coming back as Falcon against Ice Climbers can be tricky, especially on this stage. This is a good counter pick for Ice Climbers. I agree with it. If your Falcon is going to ban FD, which is logical. Oh, this is tough. Oh, handoffs. Okay. Setups. Oh. He tries to get him with the setup. The mango, I believe that's called. Oh, jeez. Nana. Sui's for no reason. Oh, okay. Stud keep coming in really aggressive <laughs> off of that platform. He really wants to make this comeback. Ooh. Ooh, dangerous. Yeah, really, really trying not to take any percent. You gotta play really careful here. Even though it's just Sopo, Down Smash is a really good tool. It's really fast. It'll it'll catch you off guard. So this is tough because one grab. I mean, as we know. Ooh, yeah, that's the grab. That's okay though. That's just means they're both playing pretty well. If you win on your counter pick, so. I'm wondering where Stunkip's going to take it. It's bomb. He bans Streamline. Logical. Good stage for Falcon. Let's see. Now, I know what I would choose. I wonder what Stunkip would choose. Yoshi's? Yeah, that's, that's the one I would have gone for, too. Really, uh, banning Dreamland and Yoshi's, like, it's really depending on what kind of Falcon you're playing. Like, Falcons that like space and like running around are generally going to love Dreamland. That sounded like some, like, 2006 controller spike. GR Smash. You've had one controller spike in your One or two, yeah. yeah. There's some salty people on the East Coast, let me tell you. I watched one guy just like sling his controller into the ground, pick it up by the cable and just like <laughs> whip it around and then like out of the venue. It was so funny. I know a guy who slammed his controller on the wall outside of the venue. Like, oh, that's acceptable. You know, take it outside. <laughs> yeah, but that's like, yeah, yeah, it's not public if like in the venue yeah. causing a disturbance. I think as long as you take it outside, go ahead and break your shit, dude. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just don't come in here and cause a ruckus. 
Oh, that's a wobble. I didn't actually see how that was set up. Taking the drink. OP move, actually. For me, I just mash. Really hard, regardless of what percent I'm at. I don't know why. Gets my adrenaline up. What if, dude? What if, yeah. That, that one time the Icy's drops it. Like, yeah. Makes it all work. Ooh, that was really scary. So Nana air dodged, I think. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, killing Nana. That's the move. Get her out of here. Get her out of here. That's what he said. Ooh, that was a good grab. That was a good grab by, by Mr. Jinji. Let's see. So I, I really like the way he's using his arrows. That stomp was sick. He used his drift to hit his shield and then go behind him so he couldn't get grabbed. That kind of play is, is really nice against these, these characters because it's all about not getting grabbed. Ooh, scary. I I clenched up when I saw it. Oh, that's Anything is possible. Oh wow, that made me cringe. That's that's the setup you want to avoid. So he's He's going to, to the ledge to try and get that, that center stage bait where he comes down and then he hits him with the side B. And if he SDIs it, he just... Yeah, that was scary. <laughs> That's the same. Good, good job to both players. Stream. Yeah, get up there. Uh, I appreciate it. Get a little break that way. 